Hey there, YouTubes. Hey there, YouTubes. So, wow, lots has changed since so we've last seen this. So, what do we have going on? Uh, well, <laughs> got some higher level towers, so uh, at least one, and we got some higher level hero bases. We've got a gold vault that's a little bit higher. We've got a whole bunch of things coming along. It is craziness. It is craziness. So. Um, what to do, what to do, what to do. We've got so many options. Now, what's really crazy, you know, it's burning at my pocketbook here. I didn't actually spend any money, but here is, like, you know when you have something, you, oh, you just want to spend it? Well, in the top right-hand corner, it shows I have some gems. Because <laughs> of maintenance uh, last night. So, uh, here's our dilemma, okay? Let me put it in perspective for you. We have some heroes that are not so good. But the chances of us rolling an actual good hero is fairly low. <laughs> so we could gamble and do a roll for it, you know, and try and go that way. Or we could do it by having more builders and be able to build and get that moving along. Ugh. Problem is, they're both valid options. And... Oh, I'm torn. <laughs> because I, if I had good heroes, it'd be a, a no-brainer for me. I would want to just save it for a builder. But because we haven't been the greatest for rolling for heroes, oh, it, it's putting a it's putting a stress on me there because I, I, we really need some good heroes. But to progress faster, you do need more builders. the truth of it because um, these buildings can make your heroes more powerful specifically hero bases and then this arrow tower can be more tanky and allow your heroes to do more damage on them but you need both <laughs> so uh, I'm seeing that there and I just want to spend it all when the truth and reality of it I shouldn't how do you deal with these dilemmas? <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, sadness. Sadness. No. So yeah, this bonus that we got is just from uh, the maintenance gems. That's awesome. Uh, and we yeah, went in there for the daily rewards. That's some stuff that's coming up. So we can sort of plan out some of our upcoming gems <coughs> and it looks like we very quickly will be able to get that uh, 1000 gem requirement for the additional builder yeah we should probably take that route oh being responsible mm. I'm looking I'm looking I, I, I see what I need to do I, I really do and that would help us progress much quicker because, <clears throat> if I'm going to be honest about it, my gem rolls, <laughs> I could probably waste them all. They'd be just like, tch, nothing. Tch, nothing. <laughs> uh, and if I really want to progress faster, and guarantee faster progression, it would be with the builder. So, uh, I've talked myself into it. I'm going to have to be responsible. If you have multiple counts, you wouldn't care as much. You would probably go with uh, heroes. Because <laughs> you really need uh, that uh, account. Because you're going to probably want to play more on the account that has the better heroes. Straight up. Um, that's why I'm enjoying my Smurf a lot more. Because it, well, has the better heroes. So, back to the game. Back to the game. Let's uh, let's get to the killing. Okay. So, we have to possibly do a little bit of farming here today. But that's just because what we got to do, I guess. Uh, 
we're going to be able to build three buildings today. So we can get uh, the hero base up. Uh, if we get enough gold, we can get that up. Eventually, hopefully, I'd love to switch up. I don't think we're going to do that today because that's just a ridiculous amount of gold farming. We don't want to do too much. And what else could we do today? What else could we do today? Uh, so we should definitely get one of the towers up. So we'll get this tower up. And we should also put that over there. That seemed about right. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so we can get a gold vault going as well. If we don't get as much mana, if we don't get uh, the amount that we we're looking for, we could just get that up and run. We could get that up and running now. If we if we have a longer one today, we could uh, potentially level that up twice. And we could level up. Well, we need a little bit more mana to do that. So let's uh, do a smidge of gold farm. I'm hoping to get... Whoa, this ain't too bad. Uh, you know, more stuff at the back end there. I think if we uh, come in here with a little bit of a tanky, we'll be all right. So, tank it. And then come in with everything. I don't think we should really have anything in the line of losses. Uh, as long as Thunder God gets a proc or two off. We'll be alright, we'll be alright. Boom. He's already uh, starting his job. <laughs> and we got a good chunk of that man already. And uh, there he goes. He should proc. We're good, good. Alright, <coughs> so this is going to be a quick clean up now, I, I believe. There shouldn't be anything that's a real threat here. And I guess if it, there's nothing hiding in the corners, we can go for a full clear. Well, hiding in the corner. And I'm not going to go for the full clear. So, let's uh, get that and bounce out. Okay, so we got enough mana to get that up. Now we're just hoping for enough gold and mana. Well, we need a little bit more mana to make sure that we can place enough bombs for our de-farming. So let's just do one more and then hopefully we get enough gold and mana from just doing a D. Cross fingers. Or EXP. If we get enough EXP from doing D as well, that'd be nice. Okay. Eh. Tempting, but okay, that's enough mana. Alright, is there anything high in corners? Let's just do it. So, taking a look. I don't think we should have a problem. Even if we do have a problem and something dies, it doesn't really matter because we're about to do D, which is a high likelihood of death. <laughs> so, we can't complain too much, I guess, about dying here. What does it really matter in the grand scheme of things if we're about to croak anyway? Okay. Still got a bit of a EXP to go on our Thunder God there. Really need Thunder God to be in that next level range like to start doing some uh, ease soon enough. I think uh, once we get Thunder God in the 80 range, we can start attempting D. Or not D. Yeah, E. It'll be alright. Okay, so we got enough gold now, hopefully. Well, well actually we want to get another because we need those gems. So, how much? Not too much. So, we need... We need that because we need the gems for our plan to come to fruition. So just a little bit more. And uh, it's just about 20,000 gold we need to do. So.
think once we get 50% we can back out here because we have the gold that we needed to get the uh, additional gems. And those gems are all we're really looking for here. Because we'll have enough gold potentially to uh, do what we need to do. So there we go. Well, we can get just a little bit more. Right there, why not? Come on, engineer. There you go. Yeah, we're good now. Okay, so that got us another gem. So we're looking good. We're not going to get the arena. Um, <coughs> So we're getting close to the range there that we need. Now let's do some D. <laughs> Do we want to change our heroes? <coughs> Druid there has been helping him survive a bit more. If we put Engineer on this side, he could easily clear out a wave of something attacking there. Ah, it's just... Mm. <sighs> just want to get to farming it. So, um, you can tweak your heroes, th its placement and movement, and you gotta try and factor in their primary skills, secondary skills, your weak points. Right now my weak point of the base is definitely this side. It's, that's just the weak point of my base for the time being. Once we get it up to the next level of the town hall, that's eh, not gonna be weakness anymore. There's going to be uh, just a pathing of the um, of the heroes and um, the heroes and the troops attacking me so and that's just basically trying to factor in the flying ones the flying ones like the griffins and things like that in the future are just going to be more of the problem because we can control the pathing of the ones that are ground based we can't control the pathing as much as the ones that fly so yeah. And as the higher you go, the more flying ones you'll encounter as well. Okay, so the Griffins. Looks like Druid should get aggro on them, and hopefully Engineer too. Good, good, good. Engineer could do a nice pop shot here and just clean them up. He really needs to clean them up. Okay, we're going to still lose that tower. That's sad. I was hoping for it to remain because that's our that's our heavy hitter. We just lost our best tower, but we're that cannon is going to drop. But Druid should be able to tank the Griffins like we've seen in the past. Uh, Druid should uh, be able to do his part. Hopefully, Engineer, Engineer, don't go after them. Well, that's fine, I guess. As long as they're attacking Druid, we're fine. So we're okay. We lost two towers, which sucks a little bit, but we're still okay. Ooh, except that they're probably attacking Druid. Uh, yep. And of course, Lanacor goes off way too soon. Hopefully he goes off now. There you go. Yeah, engineer doing some pot shots, but we don't have... Oof, and it's a, a dino left. Hopefully, a dino goes left. Left, yes. Go away from our towers. Go away from the towers. Away from the towers. Away from the towers. Because <laughs> we want more pot, you know. Meh. Is there hero bombs over there? No, there's nothing left. Ah, sadness. No. Uh, druid. Ah, you died. Okay, maybe we should uh, space out our bomb placement just a smidge. So if we do that, that, that. So 
what we're doing here is <coughs> getting a bit more of a hero trap slash bomb spread so you can take out um, heroes and you can also take out uh, <sighs> trees so there you go a little switch up takes a little bit more time to set that up like that but it does a bit more damage overall to everything that needs damage so I think that's going to help us a little bit cross fingers Let's see if we can actually keep this tower alive. I actually sort of like that it's tacking this on the first one because the cannon gets to do a whole bunch of pop shots on their little guys. And you can see that all the little ones have started to croak off, which just pretty much leaves the heroes. And we're getting enough DPS where we're starting to get to the point where we can clear them out. See? When they attacked the side over here, there wasn't really much uh, that that tower could do. Now we're revited up so we have a, a good chance of killing some trees, hopefully. Uh, Thunder God, get a get a kill them trees. Okay, so he stunned some heroes, which is good. Okay. See, we our towers are good. <laughs> now we're revited up for these griffins. But engineers not gonna hit them. This tower will fall, which is okay. It's not one of our primary towers. Uh, Marksman is going to probably die. Thunder God, if you, if you proc over there, I'll, I'll be happy with you. No, no, you don't want to proc over there? Okay. Uh, good. So at least a line of core girls are there. Well, it didn't go down. I'm, I'm really actually surprised on that. I was pretty much almost counting on that tower to fall. Ooh, that's going to hurt a little bit now, because it's going to fall right away, which is going to hurt. Marksman is definitely going to die here, but that, that doesn't hurt us too much. Lanacor, yes, for the save. But Thunder God is going to probably die. Thunder God, really don't die here. This is not what you need to do. Thank you. It, it, so we really, they can't spawn on the right hand side. Thank God. I'm like, they spawn so many times over there, they really can't spawn over there anymore. It's gonna instant death. Atlanta Core is not revited up, but that tower has full HP. So now Atlanta Core, there you go. So it's a, we should be able to beat this one. We should be good. So, yeah. And some good chunk of EXP there as well. Good, good, good. How's that looking? So, how's our heroes coming along? It's coming along. So, we're saving up our honor badges for Mr. Thunder God. We just need to get him up there. So I do think that was uh, pretty good for us. It was useful to spread out our bombs and hero traps. We'll continue that again. Hopefully that was the uh, winning factor. And we're looking good now. Should be able to do it again. Repeat this process a few times till victory, right? <laughs> Alright, so. Sort of a sucky spawn for the first one. I usually, like I said, the, well, as long as the second spawn maybe spawns on this side. Because oh, it's sort of wasted if one of the griffin spawns are on this side. Because, well, that cannon doesn't attack griffins. <laughs> so, yeah. But we did pretty good, actually, there. You see that? We cleared it up. Uh, that's fine. The cannon should be able to reach this, so that's... <coughs> we should be able to clear out those little guys. And those little guys are 
what the cannon does best. So, still good, still good. Cannon, get it? Yep, see? That was actually a good spawn. So far, two good spawns. Uh, okay. This is sort of the one spot I didn't... I really don't like griffins. <laughs> but who does? Uh, they easily cross our walls to destroy our things that we like. Engineer, what you gonna do? There you go. Much better. Okay, so we didn't take too much damage there, so we're still good, still good. Okay, now this one hurt, might hurt just a bit, but Alanacor might do his job properly and get his butt out there with the Griffins, or maybe not. Alanacor, other direction. Alanacor, oh, a marksman's gonna die. Alanacor, what are you doing? Okay, well, actually all our towers are still up, so I'm uh, impressed we have a very good chance of victory. Victory is mine! It's an, it's an okay spawn, but Atlanta Court is going to proc early. Thunder God is going to die with doing little damage. Is Atlanta Court actually going to do anything? There you go. So Lanacor did decide to get out there and uh, do something. So it looks good. <laughs> Close, but still good. Ooh, that was a good chunk of EXP. Alright. So I'm just going to place those bombs again. And keep track how many win-losses we have here. I think it's going to be about a 50-50. Uh, break, and I think it's going to just keep getting better each time that we play as well. We're going to keep uh, completing more as we go with these Ds. Soon enough we'll put an attempt or two on E. And uh, hopefully get a victory on an E. E is of course a little bit harder to get a victory on, but it's still doable. How many have we done so far? Three? Two victories, one loss. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's uh, if we get at least get one more victory. You can see we got the fifty percent mark. I'm pretty sure we will. Okay, this was an okay spawn last time it happened here. Let's see what it does this time. Uh, here is still alive. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's it was, it's fine. Did okay. Ooh, this one's gonna hurt. Some are gonna attack the wall, but that one that's attacking the wall is going to die. Uh, so it's actually to their detriment that they attack the wall. Hopefully. There we go. Now get over there, attack them. And of course, once our heroes become higher level, they, they run faster then. A big portion and a big chunk of the problem is a lot of our heroes are really slow right now. A lot of my, once they get up to 100, they're much, much quicker. Thunder God's like waddling, like really slow. But uh, when he gets higher up, he goes a little bit faster, so he can be a bit more useful then. Ooh, we're going to lose. Uh, Thunder God's going to go off on <laughs> Well, finally he actually did what I wanted him to do, but... You know, usually I want them to proc in the beginning, not the end, but, you know, we'll, we'll take what we can get. I really want Atlanta Court to just run up to the Griffins, but I know that's not going to happen, so... Griffins? Go Griffins? Is he actually going to go and do what I said? Holy schnozzleberries! <laughs> Uh-oh, Thunder Court! Thunder God, don't die! <laughs> Swear words? <laughs> oh, fudge it. Uh, we have a chance of still winning. It's really low without Thunder God. Just like it's really low without Engineer, because we don't. There are two DPSs, and the, that's all we have for damage is those two. And Alandacor blows his load early. So that means he's going to die. And of course, they're attacking everything. Yeah, we. 
That's a lost one. Sadness ensues. <sighs> Come on, we just need one more victory for 50%. I was so close to, I was like, oh no. <sighs> Thunder God. I wish there was like a retreat button for Thunder God. Get out of there, Thunder God. Get out of there. <laughs> it's not a tank. So, what are we looking at here? Two more attempts on D. Hopefully we can get a little bit of gold or some mana. Once the guard's just a little bit higher, he'll be okay. He won't die as much. <laughs> uh, same thing with uh, our Lanacor. We'll get him up a bit more and he won't die as much too. Uh-oh. Trees being segmented can suck. Because one group of trees might get free reign on uh, attacking... Uh, a tower and getting nothing stopping them from attacking it. So depending how fast we can kill these, we really need to then quick, there you go, switch to those other set of trees. And we did, so we did good. Alright. Now, this is going to be a sucky one, maybe. Really, Thundergrad has to stay alive. It's a requirement. Lanacor is doing okay here. Ooh, that Thunderstrike is actually a decent Thunderstrike. I'm okay with it. So, so far that wave, good, 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 good. Now this fourth wave is the one that makes or breaks us winning, and it looks like it's going to break us, because it spawned in a cruddy spot. Uh, but we could still be okay, potentially. Let's see what uh, Engineer has to say here. Poof. Good chunk of damage. Yeah, we did actually fairly decent here. Ooh, man. Almost lost Lanacor. Lanacor is revited up more than I would like him to be. So that could be a potential problem. As we've seen in the past, Lanacor could go off and then <clears throat> just die because it, he's got a cooldown timer. And see, he went off and... Uh, he went off too early. Which then kills us. <laughs> but we could still win here. There's some hero bombs that could take them out, potentially. Uh, it's a very small chance. Is there hero bombs? I thought there was hero bombs in that corner still. I thought there was. There they are. Eh, <laughs> yeah, wasn't enough though. Close though, very close. Just not a victory. Okay, so we only have one try left. Come on, we've got two victories. We need that third victory for 50%. It's so close, so close. Yeah, it only took out one of the... <coughs> so that hero bomb over here was just... Never went off, and the hero bomb over here never went off. So maybe we should... Because uh <coughs> we really need those hero bombs to be used. It's sort of pointless if they're never actually used and utilized. So... <coughs> we're going to move in some bombs, and... Uh, we're going to maybe move these in a little bit hopefully make them go pop more. It's going to change the dynamic a little bit. Hopefully for the better. It could be for the worse. I'm always tinkering with things. It's just how I am. So, there we go. We 
switch it up just ever so little. I think this will help. Could be completely wrong. Could hurt, but I think we're going to be okay. I like the spawn when it's there first because our cannon should do a good chunk of damage to their little troops. You can see a lot of them are, are dying off. And that's very important. Because then our heroes can actually work on what matters. They are revited up, though. Took a little bit more damage than I'd like, but we're still fine. We're still fine. Ooh, that one's going to hurt a bit more. But, still somewhat okay. Our cannon's not targeting appropriately right now. There we go. Uh, that tower's going to go down. Oh, did we just... Oh, we lost engineer. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, we're eating like the worst spawns. You guys see that? They just... On that side, on that side, on that side. It's like constantly going for that. A good chunk of them looks like they're all targeting uh, the tower slash uh, druid. Oh, are we going to lose the tower too? Come on, we can't lose the tower. Oh, that hurt a lot. We lost. Engineer. It's still a possibility that we can do this. Thunder God has to hit those griffins. Thunder God never does what I ask of him. So we're about to s <laughs> and he blows his load. <laughs> okay. Atlanticor is revited up more than I'd like him to be. And it's a bad spawn. Oh. But it's actually okay that Atlanticor is read it up more than he needs to be because it's a bad spawn. No, Atlanticor is going in like the opposite direction of where he needs to go. Oh. <laughs> he just ran after the little troops. Oh. We're getting, what, two victories each time? I'm getting like bad luck. Usually I can switch to farming D fairly quick, getting 50% and then getting up to 100% within a few tries. Just I'm getting bad luck. <laughs> I don't know how I get such bad luck. Did they actually even run into all the bombs? So I'm, I'm ending it because they're not going to run into it. They didn't run into the, that or that. Or so. They missed the one over there apparently. And they missed the ones over here. Ugh, that was some bad spawns. And that's uh, what you can run into later on. Like, when you get into the higher points of the game, if they keep spawning from one side, it can really hurt you. But, we'll get these up and then it won't matter as much. So, how much mana do we need? And how much gold do we need? So, that can get up. There's this town hall here that only requires two. So we can get this up. We can get Marksman's base up. How much does it take? We can almost switch this to a Tower. Gonna take a little bit for them to respawn. And how much? Okay. So we could level up our hero altar, which then helps us with our respawn times. And then we can level up this. We're only spending a few gems to try and make sure that we got stuff going. So 
how we could finish it. And then we could get it to the next level. And in doing so, we're then getting ourselves some more gold, or the ability to store more gold when we come in. Which is going to be useful, because uh, very soon we'll have more builders, so we're getting prepared for our additional builder <laughs> in a way so next time when we come in this should be completed and these should be completed so it should be good we'll, it'll be good uh, we'll have a little bit more firepower and a good chunk more gold storage so actually we, we just actually did get uh, that up so that means the land of course is going to be a bit of a better hero now ah oh, craziness how close are we to level one on our stuff so that just went up so yeah if we have to we might have to start three manning C again or two manning C or Whatever we can, because we need to really get Thunder God up. He is our DPS. My usual plan that I do where I just farm D isn't coming quickly to fruition as I would like, but um, yeah, yeah, we'll be alright. We'll have another builder. We'll be able to get more stuff and move along fastly, and then uh, I think after that we're just going to use gem rolls for uh, heroes. Alright. Have a good one. Have a good one. See you soon. Have a good one.